The Bayer Villiger oxidation is an unusual oxidation in that a carbon carbon bond is broken during the course of the reaction. Treatment of a ketone with a peroxy acid, such as MCPBA, results in an ester in which an R prime group has migrated from the carbonyl carbon onto the newly installed carboxyl oxygen. The reagent for the Bayer Villiger reaction is a peroxy acid, which is essentially a carboxylic acid with an additional oxygen atom. And one specific example of a peroxy acid that can be used is metachloroperoxybenzoic acid, or MCPBA. The mechanism can begin with the protonation of the ketone oxygen by MCPBA, and this results in the conjugate acid of the ketone. The conjugate base of MCPBA can then attack the electrophilic carbonyl carbon. As a result, the carbonyl pi electrons are displaced onto oxygen to neutralize its charge. It's worth noting at this point that you may also see the mechanism drawn with direct attack of the peroxy acid on the ketone. This is then followed by proton transfer to reach the exact same intermediate. At this point in the mechanism, the key migration of a carbon-carbon sigma bond occurs. The weak oxygen-oxygen bond of the peroxy acid dissociates as R prime migrates to the adjacent oxygen atom. In effect, a carboxylate is being expelled as a leaving group, and it acquires a proton as it dissociates. As this happens, in other words, as R prime is migrating, the hydroxyl group also loses a proton to form a new carbon-oxygen pi bond that replaces the bond that carbon is losing. The product of interest of this reaction is the ester, and it is accompanied by a byproduct, which is metachlorobenzoic acid. Now let's turn our attention to a specific example. In the following example, isopropyl phenyl ketone is subjected to Bayer-Villiger oxidation, and the reaction begins with the protonation of the ketone's carbonyl oxygen by MCPBA. With the electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon thus enhanced, the conjugate base of MCPBA readily attacks and displaces the carbonyl pi electrons onto the oxonium ion. At this point, the key migration will occur. However, there are two groups that could migrate, phenyl or isopropyl. And to make the decision about which group actually migrates during the reaction, it is useful to know that the more electron-rich group will be the one that migrates. The order of migratory aptitude is shown here, with the most electron-rich tertiary carbons migrating the fastest, and the least electron-rich methyl groups migrating the slowest. In our specific example, we're choosing between the migration of an isopropyl group or a phenyl group. The isopropyl group is secondary, and the phenyl group is a specific example of an aryl or aromatic group. Knowing this, we can make the decision. We know that the isopropyl group, which is secondary, will be the one to migrate and now we can complete the mechanism. The isopropyl group migrates to the adjacent oxygen atom, 
displacing the carboxylate, which also acquires a proton as it leaves. Furthermore, a proton is lost from the substrate to form a new carbon-oxygen pi bond, thereby replacing the bond that carbon is losing during the migration. The product is an ester, and it is accompanied by metachlorobenzoic acid as a byproduct. In summary, the Bayer-Villiger oxidation involves the conversion of a ketone to an ester upon exposure to a peroxy acid such as MCPBA. This oxidation is rather unusual because a carbon-carbon bond is broken during the migration, which is the key step of the mechanism. And it is the more electron-rich R group on the ketone's carbonyl carbon that is the one to migrate during the reaction. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.